aren't we all hearing constantly do more with less? More features, less space. More features, less time. More features, more features, more features. But where exactly is all of that time and space going to come from? Time, space, continuum, here we come. <laughs> and never has this been more true than with 5G. With all of this beam forming, massive MIMO, and next generation RF stuff going on in a pretty gosh darn small form factor, we need to start getting clever with just about every part of our 5G designs. And maybe we should start with those connectors. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In order to keep pace with the 5G revolution, we need a connector solution that will not only streamline our designs, handle all of this high-density RF we're throwing at it, but also keep our costs down while maintaining high reliability standards. Now, where could we go for a solution like this? Oh yes, you guessed it, right here. Please welcome Claude C. De Lorraine from TE Connectivity, who is bringing us the goods on the ERFV coax connectors, the next generation of RF connector that was specifically designed for 5G board-to-board -board and board-to-filter solutions. I guess we won't need that time-space continuum after all. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about the ERFV coax connectors from TE Connectivity. Hi, Claude. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Amelia. Thanks for having us. Today, I'm here to talk about the ERFV RF coax connector, which enables the next generation 5G wireless solutions. This product is used between boards or in a board to filter application for coax applications in next generation systems. Okay, so we are headed to 5G, right Claude? Wireless solutions are getting more and more complicated these days, and I'm freaking out a little bit. Can you walk me through this? Sure. So when you take a look at next generation architectural systems for massive MIMO application, typically what you'll find is 128 RF connectors required in, in a system. And so what the ERFV does is, because it's a, a low profile type connector, it allows a manufacturer to put more RF coax connectors between the boards or in a board to filter type applications. So for a 5G application, it's more condensed connectors in a smaller space for the next generation 5G wireless architect systems. Okay, cool. Give me some details about that. Okay. So typically, the ERFV connectors are used in an application such as between an antenna board or radio board or between the boards and a filter to radio board. So it really allows a board-to-board, -board, board to filter application in a architectural structure for the next generation 5G systems. The one-piece connector solution is inserted between PCBs or PCBs and filter to transmit RF signals. It's a low profile RF connector and allows for high density in RF connector applications. And if you take a look at the picture here, what you'll see is there's the potential of adding multiple connectors between a PCB and PCB and filter type application. So Claude, what will this really do for me? So as a system architecture and looking at how do we control cost of developing a system, the ERFV is designed as a one piece connector, eliminating multiple adapter components. So its product design is for board to board and board to filter type applications. It's a lower price solution as the ARFE is a one piece RF connector and eliminates the costly design of traditional two and three piece between board and filter connector applications. The ERFE is also an easy pick and place in production and assembly allowing for a lower applied cost. So there's no more two or three pieces type connector solution. It's you can do the same with a one piece actually in a low profile type application in a mass MIMO system. It's higher reliability, it's a proven reliability with excellent misalignment tolerances, insertion loss, return loss, and the target PCB, the base PCB, we allow a plus or minus two degrees misalignment. So Claude, what's important about this? So what's important about this is really 
from a application standpoint, it's a low profile type connector and allows you to put it in into a smaller footprint, equipment footprint, and maximize performance. The applications that we have, as I mentioned earlier, is antenna to radio board, or we can go from the antenna board to filter, filter to radio board. Because the connector is small, you're able to use this connector in a more condensed type application. Therefore, as I mentioned earlier, some of these systems will have up to 128 RF coax connectors and part of the system architecture. The ERFV allows you to build that RF connector in a high density application. The ERFV connectors also can be customized for applications in filter cavities or in a ERFE connector antenna array. So again, TE has the capabilities of designing ERFE solutions on RF coax connectors for mass and MIMO applications and for antenna coax applications. So what layouts or applications could we be using this in? So from an application standpoint, as I mentioned, mass and MIMO systems can require up to 128 RF coax connectors transmit and receive data at designated frequencies from and to antennas. So because of that, and because of the input that we've received from some of our mobile communications customers, we've developed a one-piece RF coax solution to meet the needs of the next generation 5G board-to-board and board-to-filter applications. From an electrical performance standpoint, the connector is designed to operate between DC and 6 gigahertz, although we've tested it up to future applications up to 10 gigahertz. We have excellent return loss of 22 dB up to 4 gigahertz and 18 dB between 4 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz. The isolation and the pitch, the pitch is 15 millimeters. So that means when you design your board system, you have a 15 millimeter pitch between connector spacing. The isolation at 70 dB from DC to 3 gigahertz and 60 dB from 3 gigahertz to 6. The power handling simulation shows that the product operates with 50 watts at 2.7 gigahertz and 25 degrees C. The current minimum board to filter and board to board distance is 6.2 millimeters. We are working on the next generation ERFE connector to include a 4.5 millimeter, that's low profile, high power connector. We've designed various tolerances in the ERFE connector to compensate for the differences in board warpages or actual radial misalignment of the connectors between boards and filter. So the radio tolerance is designed for plus or minus 0.8 millimeters, actual tolerance of 1.0 millimeters, and angle between boards of plus or minus 2 degrees, with a temperature range operating at minus 40 to plus 125C. The important thing to remember here is that we've designed in this connector tolerances to make sure that the connector performs at full performance when there's actual radio and angles between the board system. So from a mechanical performance side, we have the current connectors designed for board to filter, board to board application as low as 6.2 millimeters. We are designing a connector that gives us a lower profile height of 4.5 millimeters, and we call that the ERFE, low profile, high power connector. The ERV connectors are designed for misalignment features, both from a radio actual tolerance misalignment and also the difference between the boards. As you can see from a radio tolerance perspective, the tolerance is 0.8 millimeters, the actual tolerance is one millimeter, and the angles between boards is plus or minus two degrees. As long as the connectors are within those misalignment features, this will allow full connectivity of between the border, between the filter RF signals. Cool. Can we dive under the hood and take a look at this? Yeah. So let's look at that, how this connector is made. So when you take a look at the ERFE connector, it's a compression type connector. So the inner conductor is a one single contact. And then on the outside perimeter, you have nine outer conductors. And when you mount this connector between boards, there's going to be a compression force that allows for connectivity from one PCB to the next PCB. And so when I talked earlier about actual radio misalignment and also about the plus or minus two degrees between boards, in a system today, there could be actual radio misalignments and also a difference between the parallelism of the board. And in this case, we've designed for those misalignment features in a typical application. 
So because of the design of this connector, you can really have full functionality with a minimum of three outer conductors and one center conductor required to have full connectivity. Now, this is what we call robust. All right, let's talk more about misalignment. What happens if things get a little warped or off-center? Yeah, we mentioned that we've designed in this connector a radio misalignment of 0.8 millimeter. So this means that the connector can be out of radio alignment by 8 millimeters and still make full contact performance. At the same time, there could also be actual misalignment tolerances, which we've designed as one millimeter. This means the connector can be out of actual alignment by one millimeter and still make contact for full performance. So there could be a combination of radial misalignment, actual misalignment, and misalignment or parallelism between the boards. As long as we stay within the parameters of the radial misalignment, the actual misalignment, and the plus or minus two degrees between boards, the ERFV connector will have full functionality. This is super cool, Claude. What else can you give me? So we talk about partnerships that provide RF coax solutions. What we do at TE is we work with customers to help develop the next generation coax solutions. And this could be in coax, could be an antenna, or it could be a combined solution, as I showed in earlier presentations with board-to-board -board and antenna. So TE does collaborate with our customers to provide next generation solutions. So our architect team with experienced coax and antenna system engineers, and we work with our OEMs or customers to drive innovative solutions for next generation 5G applications. We have a global manufacturing footprint that allows us to manufacture and deliver products to customers globally. Our RF solutions include antenna and coax connector solutions, which are integrated into mobile wireless communication, antenna, and radio equipment. TE also provides faster and flexible services. Our manufacturing is focused on delivering consistent and high-quality products and solutions for current and next-generation system architecture. So what do you see are the biggest advantages of ERFV? The biggest advantage of the ERFE connector is really it's a low-cost one-piece solution. And that one-piece solution eliminates the additional components in a typical two- or three-piece RF board-to-board, board-to-filter solution. The other advantage from a product standpoint is a low-profile connector between the boards or board-to-filter, allowing for greater connector density between the boards, PCBs, and filter application. We're also working on the next generation ERFV 4.5 millimeter. It's a low profile, high power connector. So stay tuned on this next generation application. From a manufacturing advantage, again, the ERFV is a one piece solution allowing for higher manufacturing efficiencies and minimized costs. So think about this. In a typical solution, between board to board, you now have a three-piece or two-piece solution. What we're taking away is the additional applied cost used to apply a two or three-piece solution between boards or filters. Now what we're saying is a one-piece solution can do the same as a three-piece solution, but at lower cost, higher manufacturing efficiency, therefore minimizing applied cost. The ARFE eliminates the need to process two or three piece connector types in a systems architecture. All right, I am ready to get started. Where should I go for more information? Where do you get started? Get started at mauser.com. If you go online to mauser.com, you're gonna see an area identified, click here to order products, or you can go on site there to show the type of products that are currently available in the Mauser inventory. Excellent. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Amelia, thank you so much for having us. TE really appreciates the opportunity to present our next generation ERFV coax connector. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about the ERFV coax connectors from TE Connectivity. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or check out YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.